mother um, went into a care home after a big battle just before the pandemic and unfortunately has had to experience all these really tight restrictions throughout. Just tell us about her story. Um, she uh, went into a care home prior to COVID. Uh, she's coming on for 82 years old and has uh, vascular dementia and um, she had COVID in 2020, which has left her not being able to walk anymore. But the actual visit times um, are still only 30 minutes in care homes. Um, it might have ease restrictions on the amount of people that can go in, but the majority of care homes still kind of restricted to 30 minutes, saying that they haven't got the staff to actually accommodate it. So I, I tend to have like a six hour round trip from Wigan down to Leicester, which is where she is, to try and get access to see my mum for just 30 minutes in the day. Um, I can take her out, but the problem being is taking her out with having a dementia is, is probably the worst thing for her. So um, it still doesn't relieve the fact that normality isn't really coming back into the care homes. Look, and we've heard this time and again that people with dementia have really suffered with the restrictions because there's been real confusion about why they haven't been surrounded by their loved ones in the normal way. And it's been incredibly yeah. hard to explain yeah. that to those residents in a meaningful way. Yeah. And it's and when we when she had COVID in uh, she had COVID in October 2020 and we didn't think even the GPs didn't think that she was actually going to make it. And unless she was actually on the anticipatory end of life drugs, we still weren't allowed to go in and see her. Um, so no family was around her at that time. Um, obviously, luckily enough, she did pull through, but with the consequences of not being able to walk. But then you know, releasing, and I can understand that we have to be protective of um, the, the most vulnerable in our community, but the people that are there are the ones that need the family to make them come on a little bit more, and they just haven't got that. The care workers do as much as they can, and the government guidelines are there, but then each care home takes the government guidelines in their own um, in their own way and interpret them differently. So it's not, it might be releasing so that many people can go and see them, but it's still only down to 30 minutes. So I see my mum for 30 minutes once a month.